my favorite thing about growing up in this area was access to so many different things. We're just really close to Acadia National Park, Baxter State Park. We have the National Monument in the area now. And there's all these really cool areas that are really close. Had to go away to kind of discover that, man, not every place has all those resources right in your backyard. I first started doing the Kanduske race in college. I often tell people that it's one of my favorite main days. I race with uh, my fiance, and it's just a blast. The Kanduske Extreme Canoe Race is a race that happens every year in April. It runs 16 miles from the town of Kanduske into downtown Bangor. You go up to the town of Kanduske, which is a tiny little town, and there's a couple thousand people on the lawn at the put-in. And you know, this is a town that doesn't see a couple thousand people probably in a month, uh, but they're all there that day. I think the sense of community is really what brings people from all over. You've got racers there that have already have a few races under their belt, they've been training for it, this is like the big show. And then you have folks that are there with their kids who are just out to like pass on this experience. You have folks like me that are there just because they enjoy it and they've been doing it. Um, it's a tradition. The boat I use for the Kanduskeg is a discovery. Uh, the way the race goes, you have about 10 miles of flat water, but then you get into the white water and it's a great little boat to turn fast and, and make it through. Not that I've made it through the white water every year unscathed, but for the most part, it's not the boat's fault. Um. <laughs> Six Mile Falls is the first big rapid and really the first rapid period on the uh, river. So a lot of folks uh, come into that. It's their first rapid, maybe their first rapid ever for some people that are doing the race. There's big crowds, everybody's cheering, and um, the spectators usually get a good show there. My uncles had old town boats. My dad and my grandfather had one. And at the summer camp where I grew up, we had nothing but old town boats. And those were the boats that I learned to paddle in. Growing up in this area with an old town boat, just assume that's who made canoes. Um, but when I've traveled, when I've uh, done trips out of state, seeing the old town boats kind of everywhere you go, that's when it kind of start, you start to realize like, oh, this isn't just the boat that everyone has, this is the boat that everybody wants and we have it in our backyard.
What is a canoe? It's not just a bow, stern, hull, chines. That's what makes up a canoe. What is a canoe? Is it the still of an early morning? The lap of the ripples against you? Or that moment before the rush? Is it the warmth of a fire that's crackle is drowned out by the laughter of friends? <laughs> or the hot sun beating down on our weathered skin on a long, seemingly endless day? That feeling, the pull, that need to go, to just get on the water and be gone. Laughs, fear, joy, or that feeling where you know this moment will stick with you forever. Everything you do, you think, you want, you feel. It all stems from these experiences that we would not have without the canoe. is a canoe. try, there really is no one definition of a canoe. What a canoe truly is, is everything it's not. How will your moments define it? The water. It's uh, essential to life in every dimension. But there's a difference in the river. Literally and spiritually, it flows through you. And if you're lucky enough to be a paddler, you're lucky enough. Time spent on the water is a gift. You're forever changed by it. To be a paddler and to explore beyond the banks of the river. Nothing else like it. There is nothing else like it in the world. If you can immerse yourself in it, just to remain a part of it. head back, uh, you're a different person. Winona, explore beyond.
It's Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and Kayak, and we are here to show you one of our latest super canoes. We're at our main store in Gravenhurst in Muskoka. It is very busy right now. It's summertime. You may hear some ambient noise going on. This beauty is a Carbon Fusion Kiwaden 16. It's got the optional black carbon on the outside which has a very great look with the cherry trim finish that we have on this. And this cherry trim, folks, is beautiful. It's got the nice scuppers in the middle to help drain the water. And it also has the scuppers on both the bow and stern decks. Absolutely beautiful. All cherry interior. And one of the beautiful things about cherry over time is it really darkens. And when complemented with a nice pair of Badger Cherry Canoe Paddles, oh la la, this baby is beautiful. Now this one is actually a customer boat, and this fellow ordered it exactly as I would get it. It's got the optional bow sliding seat, which has locking knobs on the bottom. Smaller people can move the bow seat forward, brings the bow end of the boat down a little bit makes it a little bit more balanced in the water, and it makes it a little bit narrower for them to reach over the sides while they're paddling. Also, this baby has a detachable kneeling thwart, so it can just be unscrewed and taken right out of the boat. So if you're going on a tandem canoe trip, you don't need it in, and this is what it would look like. You've got a couple side pods there, but they're no issue. And folks, all of the side pods are put on right at a ribbing structure. It adds so much structural integrity to the boat. We put a ribbing structure right where the bow sliding bar is. We put a ribbing structure for the front side pods also. And where the stern seats are, the same thing. The rigidity, there's no side swivel in the boats at all. It's something that we developed through our rental operation it just lasts so well. So why get a boat with this absolutely beautiful cherry trim? Because it's absolutely beautiful. Tray Magnifique. We're very well known for building our carbon Kiwadens with a carbon Kevlar trim, which is very lightweight. The Kiwadens are in the mid 30s. And if you're doing a lot of long portaging, the carbon Kevlar trim's the way to go. The cherry trim though, if you're a little bit more casual paddler, it will add eight to 10 pounds to the weight of the boat. But look at what you get with it. I grew up at a camp with cedar canvas boats with beautiful wood trim, cedar ribbing and planking. I love the look and feel of some wood in a boat. This baby, for those people that like the look and feel of a traditional boat, will love one of our Kevlar carbon canoes with this beautiful cherry trim finish. Cheers. <laughs>